all new Dr. Oz. It's one of the biggest weight loss breakthroughs. The three day fat flush. I lost six pounds and I feel amazing. The plan that helps you snap back into shape. Well, I'm ready, set, go. Let's try this. The Oz approved shopping list gets you started. I feel great and I'm ready to go shopping. It worked for them. Can it work for you? Coming up next on Dr. Oz. <laughs> A breakthrough weight loss plan created for our audience from one of the country's leading integrative doctors. Now, it's designed to flush fat in just three days. Now, these ladies have all tried it, and each lost an average of four pounds. Now, I'll reveal why Dr. Mark Hyman's three-day fat flush worked for them and how it can work for you. Dr. Mark Hyman, best-selling author of books like The 10-Day Detox, The Blood Sugar Solution, and The Ultra Simple Diet, says he has a three-day plan to flush out fat. He believes fat-causing toxins disrupt the brain's weight control system and says his plan can heal the damaged cells that cause your metabolism to slow down and pack on the pounds. Dr. Hyman says all the healthy, low-calorie foods in his three-day plan fight inflammation, decrease insulin resistance, rid your body of toxins, and flush your fat. So, does it work? Meet the viewers who tried it. My name is Robin. I'm Tanika. I'm Elena. I'm Nika. This is Wendy. I'm creeping up to my mid-40s and um, realizing the weight is just coming on. It would be nice to lose the few extra pounds I gained while overindulging on vacation last month. I don't like being a size 14 and I don't want to be a size 14 for the rest of my life. So I'm ready, set, go. Let's try this. Dr. Mike Hyman is here with the three-day fat flush. So why three days and how does it work in the body exactly? So here's the thing, man. Our bodies are inflamed. Our brains are hooked on sugar and flour. And our hormones are stuck. They've been hijacked into the fat storage and the hunger mode. Yep. If you change what you eat, you don't have to worry about how much you eat because food is way more than just calories. It's information. So you literally change your hormones, your brain chemistry, and your immune system with every bite. It even turns on the fat flushing gene, so you flush the fat really quickly. All right, so he says the most important part of the plan is the prep. Dr. Hyman, why is the prep so important? And give us the details around it. So the prep is really simple. First, you want to go shopping and get your grocery list. You want to get the fat flushers, the protein, the fiber, the omega-3 fats. But most importantly, the night before, you want to make sure you'd use the secret ingredient for the fat flush. It's the fat flush broth. And I want you to make it the night before. Did you all try the broth? Yes. All right, we'll find out about the broth. We're gonna start right there. It's the foundation of the plan. This fat flushing broth is important for a bunch of reasons. Give us a highlight of what it does exactly. Well, first, it gives you energy. It satisfies your appetite, but it's full of secret ingredients. Phytochemicals and minerals like zinc, magnesium, potassium, and it helps to flush the fat off and keep you satisfied. You can eat three or four cups in a day. All right, so we tried it with some of our audience members. Nika, for example, lost five pounds on Dr. Hyman's three-day plan. She says the fat flush broth was instrumental in her weight loss. Take a look. Day one of my fat flush, and I'm about to make Dr. Hyman's fat flushing broth. Some kale, carrots, mushrooms, some garlic, celery. I've now boiled the vegetables 60 minutes. It does taste like vegetables, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. It's day two, and this is my third cup of fat flushing broth. And it's only four o'clock. Eh, it's not that bad, not great, but I am still getting used to it. It's day three, and this is actually my fourth cup. You know, I really don't mind it now. I actually think it's been the key to my five pounds loss. So Nika joined us, she said she grew to like the broth which of course means you didn't like it at first. Mm -hmm. So what was, pro what was the problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Oz, I am not a vegetable person at all. <laughs> We're so all vegetable people. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can disagree. Is, is this it? This is the fat flush broth right here. May I taste it? Go. Cool. Let's see what it should be hot. <laughs> it's not bad. I would drink that. Well, I, I did drink it. I did grow accustomed <laughs> to it. <laughs> You know, when your taste buds are all kind of hijacked by processed food, so you get used to it after a while, and it actually starts to taste good when you get your taste buds back. Exactly. Day two, it was a lot easier, and seeing the results, I was all in. All right, so walk me through exactly what you did. 
Well, I actually used all of these vegetables. I used some kale, we used some of the winter squash, mushrooms, carrots, celery, and... What's I that? Seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> seaweed. She said under her breath with trepidation. <laughs> Which is full of minerals and healing ingredients. Yeah, and I put it all into um, a pot of water, boiled it for 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. After I let it cool down, I then transferred the vegetables out by straining it into another bowl, and then I put it into my big glass jug. There you go. Is this, is this about the amount that you used to make the, the broth? Yeah, actually it is about that. Yeah. So yeah. when you were done, how much of the broth did you have? Uh, it was like a big jug, so about three quarts. And it lasted you, yeah. it lasted you all, all, all three, three days? All three days, yes. And you just drank it all day long? All day, I drank up to four cups a day. All right, so let's do something here, because if people don't like this, they're not gonna drink it. Right. <laughs> let's go try this on some unsuspecting audience members. <laughs> Listen, again, what Dr. Hyman said is true, your taste buds have been hijacked. Nika, if you don't mind, pass that down. Let's just see what sure. folks are thinking here. Go ahead, drink it down, guys. I want some, now focus on their faces, everybody. Forget what they say. <laughs> Look in their eyes. Let's see. Are they, are they watering over or are they? Okay, what do you think, ma'am? It's bland. Bland. Yeah. Well, it's better than I expected. <laughs> what, any thumbs up over here? What do you guys think over here? Thumbs up? Okay? A broth. A broth. Nika. Nikki. Nika. <laughs> I'm glad you lost the weight, though. Yes, thank, thank you. you. All right. <laughs> Next, Dr. Hyman I wants you to flush fat with fatty acids. So it's paradoxical, but you're going to flush fat using fats. So what does that mean? So we want fat for breakfast, which is nuts and seeds, and it's great for a snack. But what fat does is quite amazing. It doesn't only cool off inflammation, which we know omega-3 fats do, but it actually does three things. One, it speeds up your metabolism. Mm -hmm. It actually stops the hunger hormone by balancing blood sugar and insulin and it switches you from fat storage to fat flushing, which is very powerful. Yeah. Big transition, guys. And again, I'm telling you, this is not what we grew up thinking. No, fat Didn't actually, despite what we think, <laughs> fat that you eat doesn't end up as fat on your body. That's the big aha for people. It's the opposite, it it's relaxes the opposite. that fat. So Tanika lost four pounds in three days on the fat flush plan. Take a look at how she's flushed her fat with fatty acids every single morning. Today is day one of the three day fat flush plan. It's time for breakfast. I'm supposed to have these fatty acids. This is a big change from the breakfast that I have for my children. The waffles, the pancakes. So, time to make the shake. Oh no, this is gonna take some getting used to. This is day two. Believe it or not, this actually kept me full until lunch yesterday. So maybe the taste is worth it. Plus I'm down three pounds so far. Mmm, not that bad. It's day three, my last day. Bottoms up. Mmm, it's really tasty today. Good because joining us. So how hard really was it for you to get up those pancakes and trade it out for the shake? <laughs> it was really hard, Dr. Oz, because every morning for my children, I cook pancakes and waffles and sausage and we have syrup so to look at them eat that the first day and I have the fatty acid shake I was just like okay I, this is what I have to give up this is what I'm going to try but it was very difficult at first to give it up okay so what specifically did you do in the mornings well in the mornings after I woke up I put I had my ingredients the same ones that you have here mm -hmm. and I took my unsweetened almond milk and I must say I drink regular milk so this was, was definitely weird. a change <laughs> yes it was weird but I did like the taste it ended up tasting great the almond butter never even knew they made almond butter they but do. it really made the flavor for the um, shake then I had my strawberries which were really great my favorite uh, we had some almonds and then you have the flax oil and you had the pumpkin seeds so this is what it looked like when it was done yes am I correct then mm -hmm. now personally I adore this. <laughs> but I, I, I don't have maybe the average taste buds, but I think I'm pretty normal yeah. with my tasting. And I, and I, I like the fullness of this. Yeah. Also, Creamy, I don't know. it's delicious, right? Yeah, I yeah. don't know if you sense this at all, but when I drink this, I feel like I'm gonna be full for a long time. Mm -hmm. yes. Because I have that sort of satisfying element to it in you. Yeah, it really did, it really did work. It I'm glad really you well. stuck with it and you look wonderful. Thank you, and I feel great and I'm ready to go shopping. <laughs> Feels good. For new size clothes. Yeah. All right, now, before you all jump to this, the other morning ritual Dr. Hyman wants you to follow up on it is one that will flush your digestive tract. 
Thank you very much. So why is this so important? Well, it's really key to go to the bathroom every day because if you don't, you're not going to eliminate the waste. So you want to make sure you go every day. And if you haven't gone by 10 in the morning, you want to have a tablespoon of virgin coconut oil and some warm water, stir it around, and drink it down. I like the concept. It's good. Yeah, it slides right out. And I know you drink lots of water throughout the day, and you'll flush everything out with all the fiber you get in the diet, too. It comes out looking the same way, just, you know, it's slippery. <laughs> all right. Everybody's a little different. You know that, Dr. Oz. So you all did this, I gather, right? Yes. Tunja, what was it like for you? Uh, it was really simple. I did, and let me tell you, it does work. Um, it took about <laughs> two to three hours, and I lost six, six pounds, and I feel amazing. In one day? In three days. Oh, three days. <laughs> All right. Finally, we have a protein and fiber power combo to flush fat for lunch and dinner. So explain how this works. So the fiber here in the vegetables does a lot of things. We know that. But it, it flushes all the waste out of your system. It gets you going to the bathroom, and it scrubs your intestines out. And the, the protein is really interesting because it does two main things. One, it controls your appetite because the amino acids in there help regulate your brain chemistry so you're not so hungry. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, this is amazing, it burns hotter than other food. So protein actually speeds up your metabolism, even a few calories a day, like seven calories, but you add that up over a year, that's like pounds of weight that comes off by eating more protein. So it helps flush the fat off your body. All right, so here are the ideal proteins and fiber combos that Dr. Hyman wants. He made tons of them. Jane was on this. She lost three pounds in three days in Dr. Hyman's fat flush. Let's see how she ate the protein and fiber power combo. It's day one of Dr. Hyman's fat flush. I'm used to eating three meals a day, so this will be a challenge. Today, I'm going to try chicken and brown rice for lunch and tofu and sauteed vegetables for dinner. It's day two, I'm making my power combo dinner now. I have fish and brown rice for lunch, and now it's chicken with sauteed vegetables for dinner. I am already down two pounds in two days. It's day three, I finally made it. I am about to eat my last power combo meal. It was tough to get used to it, but I'm really enjoying these meals. So you're used to the plan, but I guess I look at this and I see fish and cheeses and uh, you know all kinds of wonderful vegetables. Yes. It took some getting used to for you? Oh, it sure did. I'm so used to having three full meals a day. Mm. And my, my combo meal happened to be two meals a day, which were smaller meals for me. Mm -hmm. And I was just happy, I was satisfied. What was the combo and meal? The, the power combo meal yeah. happened to be chicken, aspar sauteed asparagus, brown rice, my fat flush broth, and my tall glass of lemon water. You followed it exactly. It was go. delicious. Right. And, so doc go ahead. and it filled me, I, I, was, I was content. That's what I'm hearing, because I don't think you can be in any program no. if you're hungry and feel mm -hmm. empty. If you That's feel right. fulfilled, you'll stick to yeah. it. So we've done three days, mm -hmm. which I get from the message that the first day is a little bit of a challenge, but yeah. after that it's pretty straightforward. What happens after three days? After three days, people can keep doing it if they feel great and they want to lose weight and they're, they're having symptom relief, or they can try to add things back. And your body's the best doctor. It knows when you're eating food that it doesn't like. You'll get symptoms. So if you start eating things that your body doesn't like and you feel badly, just stop and then stay off it for 12 weeks. And the key here is that you want to use science, not willpower. Because when you eat the right foods, you focus on quality not quantity, your body automatically loses weight. You don't have to worry about how much you eat, you just worry about what you eat and change out the bad stuff for the good stuff and your body knows what to do. So America, can I give you all a prescription? Every time the weather changes, I want you to do this three day fat flush. Just that's seriously, every three months. Just get on the train, do it, reset yourself, reboot yourself, and to make it super easy, we're gonna put the shopping list on DrOz.com with these specific programs and please spread the word. I'll be right back. Coming up, what is it like to work side by side with a 911 operator? Dr. Oz finds out firsthand. Witness a man's life on the line and experience the 911 response as it unfolds. Real life, 911 call center, next. All new Dr. Oz, daytime darling Wendy Williams gets real. The scale registered a lot, 193 pounds. Does it affect your self-esteem at all? All new Dr. Oz, that's coming up tomorrow. What did you feel like when you realized this is a problem? This November. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Oz. Feel it all. I want you taking pride in who you are. I am so ready for this. Only on the Dr. Oz Show.
All month long, I will have the opportunity to ride along with different groups of medical emergency workers to see what their day is like. This time, I work side by side with a 911 operator. Now, in medicine, the battle between life and death is often determined within the first hour of the emergency. We call it the golden hour. I wanted to see firsthand how 911 dispatchers operate. So what you're about to see is a gritty, real-life 911 call where a man's life is on the line and the response you're about to experience saved him. EMS operated 36, the location of your emergency. This dude is a Okay, so somebody hit him in the head. Are you with him now? Yeah. Is he awake? Yeah. Okay, is he breathing? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be sending you an ambulance. When did this happen? Just a few minutes ago. I just went to the store. Now when I came back, I saw him bleeding. Is there any serious bleeding? Oh, he's bad. He's bad. Okay. Is he responding appropriately to you? No, he's not. He's not. That's what I would ready for first responders. It takes just six minutes for the EMT team to reach the caller's location. Do you pass out? You got some blood coming from the back of your head right there. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what happened? You were shot and you tripped. Anything else hurting you other than your head? Six, Nothing, no. Don't, don't move your head, sir. Move your head, all right? Hurt my hand. Oh, my God. Peter, that's hard, Joe. He's going to help you. How did your head get hurt tonight? What happened? Do you remember? Wow. Peter, you ever had a seizure? Yeah. The ambulance on its way, I head down to the emergency room. We're gonna take you in the hospital right now, man. The doctors are gonna have a look at you and then they'll work on getting you out. The patient's name is Peter. He's 57 years old and a former boxer and U.S. Marine. No fracture. No, I don't see any fractures. Yeah. Have you given him the good news yet? He was just kind of waking up. He was kind of out of it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, you're no, my no, no. friend. Yeah, you're remember my what friend. happened? There's a big cut in the back of your head. Oh, yeah, you saw that? Yeah. Look, it's back here. Yeah, I, I, I saw. What's going on back there? Some guy hit me in the back. Somebody hit you? Why would someone hit you with a pipe? I don't know. You've had 22 seizures? I've got 22 punches in the back. Why would you have punches in the back of your head? I'm boxing. Oh, the seizures are from boxing? Yeah, 22 right. years ago. How are you feeling now? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna come back and check on you before I leave for the night, okay? I return to find Peter in much worse condition. How long has he been seizing for? Uh, probably like five minutes. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a bad seizure. Do you know where you are? You understand yeah. what's happening? Yeah. All right. Have you had seizures like this a lot? We're going to give you a medication, Peter. It's going to relax you a little bit. Okay. This will help you. Yeah. So stay with us, buddy. 100 milligrams, right? Yeah. You're a champ, my friend. It's getting better already. You feel a little more relaxed? The spasms are breaking. You've been through a lot. Peter, who appeared to be, have suffered a seizure, is on his way to recovery thanks to the 911 operators, the EMS team, and the doctors and nurses at Jersey City Medical Center. Let me talk about seizures a bit. They can be life-threatening. Uh, they usually happen due to sudden electrical activity in the brain. Basically, it's a short-circuiting of the electricity of your brain. And it actually happens because of brain injuries oftentimes, which is what I think happened to Peter. So this is a very severe brain injury, but if this heals, the scarring that results, see the, the red area here is where the damage is. The nice sort of uh, pinkish whitish areas are normal. But this injured area when it scars in prevents electricity from passing through the brain the way it needs to. And so you end up with these, you know, these problems with electricity passage of the brain that leads to seizures. But here's the good news. With the right treatment, seizures can often be controlled. Now if you witness someone who's having a seizure, don't restrain them. Keep them safe from injury. After a seizure, you gotta make sure the person is lying on their side, and they're often gonna be confused, so do not leave them alone. These situations are a reminder of how important our EMS system is, and I'm gonna be spending more time with them this season. I'll be right back. Coming up, how well do you know your body? Could you locate your vital organs? Do you know what they do? 
We're hitting the streets of New York to see just how much the average person knows. It looks like a JJ. See where you stand. Anatomy lesson on the street. <laughs> Do you know where your uvula is? Do you even know what a uvula is? Well, today, my anatomy on the street with comedian Tommy Davidson. Let's find out how much you know about your body. Hey, this is Tommy Davidson. It's Dr. Oz's anatomy, and we're taking it to the streets. So what is that? That's my heart. heart. Okay, that's an easy one. Yeah. yeah. Right. What's that? Lungs. All right, what about this? Bam. Inside of a nose, yeah. what do you think? Arm shoulder. This is actually called the tracheus. And that's right here. Right in there. Blow, ah. blow, 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 blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happens in tracheus stays in tracheus. <laughs> All right, now what about this thing here? Uh, um, that thing that hangs out at the bottom. Uh, the hanging part of your mouth. <laughs> oh, sounds. That's what that is. It is called the uvula. The who? The uvula. The Uvula. I think you're wrong. That's not in your mouth. That's like in your vagina or something. A uvula, isn't it? Ugh. We don't know what to say and we're scared to tell okay, you. Okay, okay. A magnified closed rectum. Oh. Uh, but. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a yeah. butthole. Definitely a butthole. Uh, an anus, for sure. No, no, not an anus. <laughs> anus all the way. Not, not at all. Somewhere in between your small intestine and your stomach. And it's an oh, opening. I was close. Well, I no, was you safe. wasn't close. Pyloric sphincter. If you're Italian, you probably think it's an eggplant parmesan, but it's not. That's your pancreas. That was pretty close, but wrong. Slab of liver. Gallbladder. Close, but wrong again. Well, it's in that region. It's called the spleen. Spleen. It's called the spleen. This is the first spleen I've ever seen. First spleen I've ever seen. Bam. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What is that? Vagina. Colon. Colon? Okay, there is a hole there. Ooh. An alien? It looks like a JJ. Doc, I'm going to need your help with this one. Davidson is here. Audience, any guesses? Any guesses? What is that? What, what's Tommy holding right there? Thoughts? And watch your mouth. Yes. Oh, that's very good. The larynx and the vocal cords, absolutely what they are. You know why that's so important? It's how you can tell those funny jokes of yours. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's uh, my mortgage and my child support payments. All together. All was, in one. How surprised were you about how little people knew about their health, their own anatomy? I was surprised how little I knew. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm looking at these things going, are you kidding me? <laughs> but it was, we were down at a Chelsea Market and we had a good time. New York, you're beautiful. Give yourself a hand, come on. All right, come on back yeah. here. Let's see what the rest of the body looks like. So we're gonna start off with one that we got you with early on. You remember this picture from a little package? It's, this is called the uvula, uvula. Right, right. May I look at yours? You may. You're sure? Yeah. Uh, you mean like that? Like this. <laughs> with the lipstick cam. Okay, ready? Okay. All right. You should, hold I take, shall I take the, the am you, I going to be okay? I hope I'm not in your eyes. It might okay. be a problem if I am. Hold on, okay. testing. <laughs> okay. All right, hold, hold this like that. Ah. Oh, I can see it. You have a big uvula. Look at that. Pun. Ah. Don't make me laugh. Ah. ah. Can you see that? Ah. ah. You see that there? See it hiding there? You, you see, I'm, oh, you fogged up my camera. Did I do that? Oh. Now, I'm going to hold this like this. I'll show you a really big uvula. You guys. Ah. All right. So, the question is why hold do on, I... I can do that. Okay. Okay. Let's try it. Ready? Can... Okay, ready? Yeah. I saw technique. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Ah. Oh, my goodness. That's big. Ah. That's a big uvula. All right. Now, what's the uvula do is the question. Uh, yeah, please, tell me. <laughs> okay. It actually, you know, it's interesting. It took a long time to figure it out. Okay. Saliva drips off the uvula. And it's aimed right at your vocal cords. It lubricates your throat so you can talk. We need it for speech. Okay. So as you get more comfortable with this, are you ready to transform yourself from a comedian into a doctor? Uh, I can give it a shot. I, I can try it. Never too late, Tommy. Never too late to you, try. You got the talent. You got, you're okay. curious. All right. All let's, it give it, let's give it a shot. It's a real pleasure having you on, buddy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Test your knowledge of these and other organs at DrOz.com. We'll be right back. Coming up.
It's what many women are not getting enough of, and likely the cause of the most common health complaints. Constipation, weight gain, high blood pressure. Find out what your body could be missing and how to get more of it into your daily diet next. All new Dr. Oz, daytime darling Wendy Williams gets real. The scale registered a lot, 193 pounds. Does it affect your self-esteem at all? All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. What did you feel like when you realized this is a problem? This November. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Oz. Feel it all. I want you taking pride in who you are. I am so ready for this. Only on the Dr. Oz Show. So these three women have three different health complaints. For Gail, it's constipation. Kara worries about weight gain. And Marsha, she's got blood pressure issues. So what health mistake do you think all three of these women have in common? I'll give you a hint, it has to do with their diet. So ladies, before the show, I put you all in the same room and I asked you to talk it out a little bit. Did you guys come up with a, an idea? That we they, did, Dr. Ross. You did? Yes. What do you we, think it is? We got together and we said that uh, we thought the main thing might be that we were all lacking a bit of more protein in our diet. Right, Pro ladies? Right. We thought about protein. Right. Yeah. Maybe fruits and vegetables, adding some more. All right, so we got a couple things, but protein being the number one thing that you're picking on. Yeah. Protein is pretty common cause of a lot of problems in America, but it's not the common cause of these problems. For example, protein doesn't help with constipation that much. It does help with weight issues. Blood pressure is sort of neutral on. The same mistake that you're making is the mistake that most folks out there are watching are making too, is you're not getting enough fiber. Oh. Every woman needs more fiber because it's like a brush for the body. It cleans out those intestines, cleans out all the, make sure you have the right bacteria down below. So how do you all get it? You need 25 grams. That's the ideal amount you need every day. Guys need a little bit more, by the way. We're needier than women. But women only get about half of that 25 gram amount. I'll give you some examples. Gail, Kara, Marshall, I'm gonna walk you through the amount that you have, and then we'll give you some solutions for it. But I'm telling you, you guys stand for the average women who are watching the show right now. Same exact props. So Gail, you're getting about six grams of fiber. Remember I said you want 25? Right. That's not much. No, it's not. Well, we're gonna talk about what food you're eating because they don't have much fiber in them. Okay. Again, this is based on your food diary. And then Kara, you're doing a little bit better. You get nine grams. Better than six, but it's not that much closer to 25. And Marsha, she's a show off in the group, <laughs> but only a little bit showing off. You had 14 grams oh. of fiber. Is that good? Well, again, it's not 25. Oh. You're, you know, you're a little bit more than halfway there, but it's not nearly where you need to be. In fairness, all these problems you guys complain, are having and complaining about, the constipation, the weight gain, all this stuff really does boil down, including things like blood pressure, to problems with fiber. So I'm gonna show you, all three of you, and all the women at home, the best ways to get 25 grams of fiber. Right awesome. so come on over. I'll I got your fiber fixes, they're all on your own tables. I'm gonna walk you through them. These are three wonderful solutions. You go on down, you take the last table. So. Since you had the lowest amount okay. of fiber in your diet, I'm giving you the fiber tip that's the richest. It's the one that's the most valuable, it's the easiest way to get all the fiber. It's beans. Okay. Inexpensive, no excuse not to get them, high source of fiber. These, these cups, a cup of these things, this is the navy beans, 19 grams of fiber. Wow. If you don't like navy beans, you can get kidney beans, you can get black beans, there's tons of different beans. Okay. And with the amount of deficiency you have, all you'd have to do to get up to the 25 grams is have this much of beans a day. Wow. Okay, how, what could I add that to? Well, take a look at your lunch. Remember what you put in your food diary for lunch? Okay. I'm gonna put a picture up there. Does that re look familiar to you? Yeah. Is that, is that a grilled cheese? Yeah. It tastes good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Your, ba <laughs> your bowels don't Not think good. it tastes good, no. It's okay. like sludge in there. Imagine taking yeah. silly putty and putting it in your intestines. Right. That's what grilled cheese does to you when it's down there. Okay. So I'm not, not against grilled cheese. Okay. I'm, and I like it as much as anybody else, but if you're gonna take them, you could add beans to them, right? For example, you could add a bean salad to it. And that whizzes it up pretty quickly to 25 grams of fiber. Okay. And then you're where you need to be. That you won't have the problems that you were complaining about earlier. Okay. So give me some other ideas how you might put beans into your diet. Um, well, I can make a black bean soup. Good. That's a very good idea. Or maybe a, uh, a bean salad or... Yeah. You know one little idea is a dip. Okay. A lot of people look for dips. They put you know, sour cream, heavy stuff, late, fat laden stuff together. Bean dips are fabulous. Okay. And you can put a little bit of yogurt in them. They're, they're fab they'll take oh, you where you want to be. That. Okay, right. I'll Just, do that. These aren't boiled, I have to start eating already. All right, take care. <laughs> That's one of the Kara, another great source of fiber. Now you were at nine grams. Mm -hmm. So 
you're a little closer, but not, you know, not even halfway there. So I'm gonna give you fruits and veggies. And you guys mentioned that you were eating a little bit of fruits and veggies, but when I say a little, literally a little, not very much of them, and you thought that might be one of the culprits, fruit and veggies have fiber. Right. So it is a great way of getting fiber into your diet. It's not as rich as beans, but it's a pretty good second choice. You'd have to have, you know, roughly, if you get to get, say, you know, if you have a can of pumpkins, which is pretty good this time of year, by the way, it has more fiber in it than in the, the, the actual pumpkin because it's concentrated. That'll get you, you know, about eight grams. Broccoli, uh, I love pears, and they're a very rich source, but the easiest one for a lot of folks are different types of berries. Because with raspberries, for example, you can get, you know, about eight grams of them without too much difficulty. You can add them to a cereal in the morning and, and simple to incorporate. So give me an idea which of these you might be able to put into your diet. I think broccoli is like my favorite. I think I could definitely do broccoli. You like dinner. broccoli? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a guest on the show who liked broccoli before. At least they never acknowledge it. Who likes broccoli here in the audience? Okay, we are, we are a unique audience here. I love you guys. I like broccoli too. Most people don't like broccoli because they've never had it made the right way. How do you prepare yours? I put a little olive oil on there, garlic, and lemon. And, and just... Steam it, yeah. Steam it, right. That's yeah. the best way to do it. If you yeah. boil it, the taste all goes away. It gets mushy. It's like what we get in school. I never liked that very much. Yeah. So, yeah, you probably need about two cups of these to get to the 25 grams of fiber that you want in your day. That's definitely doable. Yeah, and I think it's pretty straightforward to do it. Yes. And you know, if not, just eat the pear. Yeah, for take breakfast. Yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> and finally, let's get to our last choice, Marsha. Now, I gave you whole grains. Mm -hmm. And I gave you whole grains for a very important reason. You're at 14 grams. You're sort of making your way to the 25-gram goal. Uh, you don't need a ton to get there. Oatmeal, quinoa, barley, they all get you there. Uh, and it's not too difficult. You just take a, a bowl of this pretty much, and you know, with two servings of that, you can make what you need to in terms of the fiber in your body. Do you ever cook with these? Uh, I've tried. I've sampled this. I'm a Caribbean. My family's from the islands. So we either like it spicy or sweet. So this looks a little challenging to meet that. <laughs> Well, there's many things you could do. For example, you could take some of the things from the other tables. You could take that pumpkin soup over there, that pumpkin puree, mm -hmm. and mix that with some of the quinoa. It would taste pretty good. Nice. You could add barley to a meal that you might have. For example, the, the meal that you like having in general, almost across the board, you could replace some of the zero fiber pastas and the like with barley. It would probably taste about the same to you. Nice, I like that. <laughs> right. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Thank Listen, you. you can find a, a list of 50 fiber-rich foods on DrOz.com. We'll be right back. Next, does your metabolism need a boost? The simple test to find out. Reignite your metabolic furnace with foods that'll fire up your insides. The Hot Belly Plan that can reset your system in just 30 days. Coming up next. Have a health question? Ask on DrOz.com and get answers directly from Dr. Oz and his team of experts. No question is off limits. Setting your metabolism, and I've got a hot belly plan to do it. But first, I need you to stick out your tongue and say, ah. I want to go, ah. So here's the deal. I asked my audience to take a photo of their tongue as soon as they woke up this morning. So I want everyone to raise up your tongues. Folks at home, you can do the same thing tomorrow morning. I want to see who has a white coating on their tongue. White coating, white, not too white. That looks sort of white. That could be a problem. We'll find out in a second. What? Oh my goodness, what happened here? Can you, can, you, can you show out the camera there? Can you all see that? Whoa, so what's going on there? I don't know. You're not sure. Is that what it normally looks like? I don't look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be an indication that your metabolism is working inefficiently. And that's one of the reasons I want you to at least understand your own bodies. To help you reset it, I brought in Ayurvedic specialist, Dr. Suhas Shirsagar, who's joining us to talk about white tongues and all the problems that folks have. How are you? All right, so with Dr. Tuhas' help in just 30 days, his hot belly plan can reset your metabolism completely. Let's go on here and show everybody. The first step uh, to, your, to your hot belly program is to actually prepare your metabolism. And this is gonna last for the first three days yes. of the program. So how do we do this? How do we prepare the metabolism? The first few days is you want to eliminate certain things which are maybe some refined flours, some sugary foods, which are simple starches, which creates these blood sugar fluctuations and unwanted food cravings. So you want to stay away from heavy foods. And during this first few days, the only thing you should be drinking or sipping throughout the day would be this hot water. Mm -hmm. You may want to drink some spice-infused waters. They also rekindle your digestive process, improve the digestive juices and the metabolic fires. Oh, like 
Yeah, that'll light something on fire in there. <laughs> Maybe this will be a little bit more. See, I could do this, the ginger lemon. Yeah, that's very tasty. It's very tasty and it's very refreshing. Absolutely. Now, in addition, obviously, to the hot fluids, you have a couple of meals. It's a typical breakfast. You want to have a good, decent, small bowl of steel-cut oatmeal with some nuts and berries. You do want to have your main meal of the day. It should contain some complex carbohydrates. You want to have some non-vegetarian foods. You want to have some vegetables in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. And that's when, if you eat the main portion of your calories in the middle of the day, that becomes very easy to burn those calories before you sleep in the evening. Right. And the evening meal, as you see, it's much smaller portion compared to this one, is a lighter, easier meal, at least three to four, hour, four hours before you sleep in the night, right. so that you are able to digest that food completely before you sleep. During this time, between your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, no snacking. Okay, so this is the basic get ready three day program. Absolutely. Now let's go to the accelerate your metabolic burn phase, which is most of it. It's the three weeks of the program. It is the three week of the program. Right, so so what's here the you here? prepare, yeah. here you prepare, here you accelerate. And you want to accelerate and really rev up the metabolic engine. And in order to do that, we want to probably start the day with even more lighter breakfast. So this is a superfood smoothie. You want to probably use some uh, protein powders here. This is the whey isolate protein mm. powders with some spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, flax seeds. It it's also fabulous. has a good positive impact on your mind to feel really energized throughout the day. All right, and then the middle meal, the big meal. This is the most important aspect. And uh, the main premise of hot belly diet is the superfood, the Ayurvedic superfood, what we call it as khichdi. Khichdi? Khichdi. Khichdi is one of the most ancient food that exists today, as we, I would say. And it's an Ayurvedic superfood. It's a, it's a comfort food which tastes delicious. You should try that. Oh, it's really good. It is very good. It's, it's a one pot meal which contains the, the mung beans, which is the source of protein. It contains complex carbohydrates coming from brown rice or the regular rice. You can actually make it with quinoa also. And the important thing is you want to eat it just right so you don't want to overeat it. So you want to eat it in the middle of the day. And that's the, the basis of the hot belly diet. For 21 days, you're eating this Ayurvedic superfood every day. Can you buy it in packages like this? Or you have to you make can, it yourself? Yeah, you can make it yourself. You can buy these prepared packages. They're available in many health food stores. So, you know, I'm, I'm always a little skeptical because I hear so many ideas. So I actually asked three of our viewers to try out your program. Wonderful. Are you, are you nervous? Uh, no, let's, let's find it out. How right. did they do? So they've been on the program for three weeks. We see, have the see how this program work. Dina is coming up first. How are you, Dina? Good. How are you? First of all, this, this kitchen day. Yes. But, uh, what did it taste like? Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it, surprisingly enough. I, I did. I was unsure because I am from Italian descent and everything is big flavor and big portions, and this was perfect. Yeah, I would put the kitchen day on the pasta. Get it both together. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So did it work for you? Did you lose it weight? I did. I lost six pounds. In, in three weeks? Yes. Good for you. Yes, and I gained so much more energy. I'm usually a napper, haven't napped at all. All right. Annabelle, how about you? What was the hardest part of that kitchen Well, kitchen I actually thought was pretty good, mm -hmm. um, but I felt really full throughout the day, so snacking, not snacking was easy, easier than I thought it would be. Um, the biggest challenge was actually going to sleep early. I'm a night person. Getting myself to bed at 10 p.m. did not happen, <laughs> but I did, you know, I did feel really good on the diet. I started losing weight. I lost nine pounds. You did. <laughs> is that part of the program? You have to sleep early. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It is. It is an important uh, part of the hot belly diet program. All right. And 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 finally, if I can, Tiffany, you know, probe a little bit into your success or failure on this program. So far, five pounds down. Good for you. Yeah. Keep it up, yeah. keep it up. Yeah. We're gonna check in your progress later on because you're supposed to stay on this, not just for the, you know, the month that we're talking about, but actually potentially indefinitely. So we have a small dinner at the end. Okay. Let's now go to the last part of the program. Now, so, the last four days, I want you to teach us, not just for these four days, but for the rest of our lives, if you wanted to lose weight, what could we be doing? Yes, so you want to reintroduce certain foods. You may want to have a hot cereal in the morning if you want. You can have a yogurt parfait if you want. Mm -hmm. And the most important part of this program is the evening meal is something that you want to make it lightest and easiest to digest. Because one of the biggest challenge that I see in my practice is so many people have this big dinners in the night. So we talk in medicine nowadays that sleep late to gain some weight, eat right. late to gain some weight. 
And so when you eat late in the night and you sleep for about seven, eight, nine hours after that, your heart rate, pulse rate, respiratory rate, even the metabolic rate slows down. And the food remains into your system not being you digested. You get that big white patch on your tongue. You do get Remember, that. if it rhymes with late, you'll gain weight. That's correct. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Wonderful information. In fact, all of us that we covered today will be at DrOz.com. And for a full plan, you can go to his wonderful book, The Hot Belly Diet. We'll be right back. We are bringing healthy back this season and want you to bring it too. Grab your prescription pad for fun and sign up for free tickets today. You can go to DrOz.com slash tickets and sign up. All new Dr. Oz, daytime darling Wendy Williams gets real. The scale registered a lot, 193 pounds. Does it affect your self-esteem at all? Revealing. Has it been a lifelong issue for you, the weight? Yes, I come from a place of fat. My first diet was first grade. And always entertaining. You had a little work done. Yes, I did. Can you tell? How her health secrets help you. All new Dr. Oz. That's coming up tomorrow. Take a look at these grade school tests. Now, the answers may not have been what the teacher was looking for, but I think they are brilliant, nevertheless. I like this question. Here it is, ready? Try to answer it yourselves. Bob has 36 candy bars. He eats 29. What does Bob have now? Any answers? Yeah. The kid, the, the, yeah, the, the audience says seven. The kid's answer was diabetes. Bob has diabetes. All right, that's a warm-up one. Here's another one. This kid was asked to finish the sentence the first cells were probably, who knows what that could be. The smart child's answer was lonely. They were by themselves. I would give them full credit. Now it's time for In Case You Missed It. First, a breakthrough weight loss plan. It's called the Three Day Fat Flush. The full plan's on DrOz.com, but don't forget the secret weapon. It's the fat flushing broth. Dr. Hyman, who created the plan with us, wants you to drink this up to four times a day. It's got all these vegetables and fruits in it. Onions and carrots and celery and squash and kale, a little garlic. All kinds of good stuff to fill you up and flush your fat. It looks like this when you're done. You make it uh, whenever you desire. You go have it there for the three days. And all you've got to do is drink this a couple times a day when you feel like you need something else through more uh, hearty inside of you. The next health mistake that a lot of folks are making is not getting enough fiber. And we talked about the fact that you need to get about 25 grams of fiber a day. Most women only get half that amount and leads to all kinds of problems, not just constipation uh, that women suffer from. Now, all these foods are high in fiber. I listed them right here. Beans are my favorite. They have 19 grams of fiber. A serving size is about this much. You can get navy greens, kidney beans, black beans. doesn't matter what kind of beans you have. They're very rich in fiber. Gets you mostly weighted to 25 gold that you have. And raspberries and, and inter interestingly, canned pumpkin have about eight grams per cup. And canned pumpkin has more fiber than the fresh because there's less water in it. And it's pretty easy to get this time of year as well. So you can mix and match these different sources of fiber throughout the day. Add it to whatever you're having right now. Find out what works best for you and then make it part of your daily plan. Finally, let me close with a warning. Please be careful about what you buy online, especially weight loss pills. Dubious people online make it seem like I'm endorsing their products. I don't. To see a full list of our trusted sponsorship partners, please go to DrOz.com, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>